Hello guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Bilal Ghattis and I'm going to be your facilitator for today. Today's topic will be how to conduct a sensitivity analysis on Excel. So let's get into it. A sensitivity analysis is what will happen to the output or the desired outcome if you change only one variable. For example, what would happen to your net income if your tax rate goes up by 5%? What would happen to your gross profit if the cost of goods sold goes up by 10%? Now, another name for sensitivity analysis would be stress testing, and this name is heavily used in finance. Now, to get into the technical part of it, we're going to move to Excel. So as you can see, guys, we have the following example where we have a unit price of $10, quantity sold of 100 units, so we have a total revenue of $1,000. And the base scenario is uh, saying that the cost of goods sold is approximately 60%. So cost of goods sold in dollars is $600 and the gross profit is $400, where we subtract the total revenue from the cost of goods sold. Now, we want to ask Excel to have three scenarios and show us the three scenarios of what would happen to our um, output or uh, result, which is gross profit if we sensitize or we change the cost of goods sold in two different ways. So what we're gonna do is what we call a base scenario, an optimistic scenario, and a pessimistic scenario. So a base scenario will be saying that the cost of goods sold will be as it is, which is 60%, and optimistic, which means something positive. Thus, we're going to um, estimate the cost of goods sold to go down by 10%. So we're going to estimate the cox at 50%. And the pessimistic scenario, will, we're going to be increasing the cost of goods sold by 10% up to 70%. So let's see how we can do that on Excel. The first thing you guys need to do is to go to um, data and then what if analysis, and then scenario manager. We're gonna start by pressing the add. So here we're gonna add a scenario and we're gonna start off by adding the basic scenario. So we're gonna call it the base and we're gonna ask Excel to um, say that the changing cell is actually the cost of goods sold because it is the one variable that we're gonna be changing. So the changing cell is the cogs. I'm gonna press enter and then I'm going to press OK. So Excel will ask, what is the base value for the base scenario? And I'm going to say that it is 0 0.6, which stands for 60%. I'm going to press Add. And then the next scenario will be the optimistic scenario. And we're going to be keeping the changing cell as it is. And we're going to set it as 0 0.5, which is 50%. And finally, we're going to add the last scenario, which is the pessimistic scenario. And as we said earlier, we're going to set it at 70%. And then I'm going to press OK. So what you can see for now is that Excel now identifies three different scenarios, the base, the optimistic, and the pessimistic scenario. Now we can see the result, or we can see what would happen to gross profit by clicking on the name of the scenario and then clicking show. So because it's already on the base scenario, let's move on to the optimistic scenario and press show. Excel will immediately show you what will happen if the cost of goods sold went down by 10%, where the gross profit will increase to $500. If I click on pessimistic scenario and I click show, Gross profit will go from 400, which was the case in the base scenario, to 300, which is the case in the pessimistic scenario. Now, Excel has also another characteristic that I find really, really interesting. What you can do is you can submit all three scenarios in a simple report, and Excel can actually generate this report in a single click. All you have to do is you need to press summary, and then Excel will ask you, you want to see a scenario summary, and what is the results that, uh, cell that you want to be changed, which means Excel is asking, what is the output that you want to see if we're, we're going to be changing the one variable that you have stated earlier? So in this case, it's going to be the gross profit, and we're going to pick C7. There you go. Enter. OK. As you can see, guys. 
Excel will show you three different scenarios based on what would happen to the output if we change only one variable, which is in this case, the cost of goods sold. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have learned and enjoyed. If you like the content of the video, kindly give me that like and subscribe button to stay notified of the videos coming soon. Have a good day.